Springdale 271 Rear Living here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Real quick, I want to mention there are a bunch of upgrades on this, inclusive of the Adventure package at this time. And these packages and upgrades and fine details on trailers change throughout the year. I don't tend to reshoot footage every single trailer that comes in. So keep in mind, this is what a 271 looks like, not necessarily the 271 we have in stock looks like. If you want to verify that, all you got to do is give us a call. So let's get dug in here. Springdale is Keystone's number one selling trailer bar none. They build, sell more Springdales than anything else out there. You hear a lot about their big Keystone fifth wheel Cougar Montanas, but it is the Springdale that outsells all of them by a wide margin too. Uh, you know, the question is why? I think a lot of it is just the fact that, you know, they've been around for like 14 years. Springdale's one of Keystone's original lines. Uh, they've had more time to build and perfect and fine tune this thing than anything else. Secondly, they have a really good bead on ideal stuff in the market, what folks are looking for, like 30 inch baggage doors right here. Bigger, wider baggage doors so it's easier to get stuff in. The adventure package I mentioned, we have an LED lit awning, so we have a power awning with LED lighting. We also have uh, power stabilizer jacks, power tongue jack, and that's just a few portions of that adventure package. Everything on this is push button simple and easy. Everything on this is easy camping. This is an easy going couples camper. Also nice little utility stuff, like we have a uh, um, black tank flush outside here, as well as a little outside utility shower. So it's very easy to, uh, you know, uh, hose down the grandkids if they come over, or if you're cleaning fish, you have an easy spot to do that. This right here is a little outdoor TV uh, area. Your interior TV is mounted on a swing arm. The whole arm attaches out here. So your main TV also floats outside. Now, uh, so since it's on the whole arm, you can twist that whichever way you want. So if you're grilling, if you're cooking, if it's game day, you know, if it's race day, you have the perfect, uh, you know, viewpoint there. And hey, who doesn't mind a little fresh air? Now, uh, they use 50% larger propane tanks, 30 gallon tanks on here instead of 20s. We do have an enclosed underbelly. Uh, 30,000 BTU, or pardon me, 30,000 or 25. Ah, shoot, I got myself tripped up. But long story short, 5,000 BTU larger furnace standard in a Springdale than pretty much else, uh, pretty much anything else in this class. That's helping extend the camping season here and keep you more comfortable. Now, to complement that, we will typically upgrade the uh, air conditioner up top with a 15,000 air instead of a 13.5. Um, the diamond plate on the front, we all know what that does. It deflects stones, but you don't realize part of the adventure package is this smooth aluminum sweep on the nose, not fiberglass. This entire nose is a 0.06 thickness, extremely uh, ding resistant, um, uh, extra thick aluminum. To give you an idea, your sidewalls are 0.024. This is 250% thicker. Same basic thickness as the diamond plate down there. That's the whole point. Um, easy half ton towable. Uh, RV here and that's really the the whole idea behind it is that if you don't have a three-quarter ton But you want a nice camper to go couples camp and this is the one a uh, little detail stuff to eliminate service problems You'll find all over the place. You see how the wall once the camera zooms in here is very rough and textured This is a seal gripping slide wall. It's the reason this slide seals pulled really taut what that's doing for us is helping us um, prevent the possibility of a crimped seal which even if you don't have a, a construction failure to cause a leak. If you have a crimp seal, that can be a catastrophic leak. So they basically eliminated the opportunity for that. And buddy, if you want windows, we got them. This floor plan has windows all over the place. The thing I liked is one of these big uh, ventilating crossbreeze windows right here. They also had located right in front of the slide out. Now that adds a lot of extra light inside. And again, who doesn't like more cross breezes, you know? Um, the uh let's see oh aluminum entry steps this has anti-slip aluminum steps so that when it's uh rainy and whatnot uh your, your shoes aren't as likely to slip now those steps are matched up front i simply did not pull those extra steps out um let's uh oh your power awning here this is a solera um awning the uh awning arms are easy pitch adjustable literally only takes two fingers you pull the uh, awning arms down and you can pitch adjust the same 10 or 12 inches if you're so inclined other little niceties we have a friction sprung door. You see how the door just stops. It doesn't slam against the side of the trailer. You also notice you don't have a hold back on the side of the trailer that you forget and you yank and you break. If you've ever owned a camper, not if, but when, you broke that little plastic hold back. Now, this door wants to stay wherever it is. It doesn't want to move unless you physically push on it. It takes a, a, a big gusty breeze to try to blow it. It's not like a, a, a normal camper door where if the wind kicks up, it just slams against the side of the trailer or something like that. It catches itself. Also very nice for grandkids who just tend to fling doors. Um, I was one of those. <laughs> 
6,940 pounds on this model, by the way. That's something I want to make sure I mention to you. Now, we have pulled it out at this time, but this little receptacle right here holds uh, a little, um, oh, what am I wanting to say? Uh, wireless five-function remote control. It, it does uh, your awning, your slide-outs. It does a whole bunch of different things, your, your, po your power awning lights. Um, it, it does a lot of different features like that. And uh, it allows you to just have another way to control your RV without having to track all over the trailer quickly and easily. Um, this decor is called coffee. Um, I want to point that out because, once again, this video may not be the one we have in stock. And generally speaking, Springdale is a top five brand. It's a huge selling brand. It's one, uh, especially a, a very popular floor plan like this. We will often have multiple copies in stock equipped identically with simply different color schemes to give you an ABC choice. Sometimes an ABCD choice, depends. Um, let's get dug in here. We, uh, Springdale is the only constructed trailer, meaning aluminum skid and wood uh, frame with a vaulted barreled ceiling. That is something typically reserved only for fifth wheels, motor homes, and uh, uh, select ultralights. But here we have it in a family class constructed trailer. What it's doing is it's giving us an extra six inches of interior living space at the apex. It measures to 610 at the top. Very nice for tall, goofy guys like me. Also very nice for uh, people in the shower. Um, adventure package giving us this bigger refrigerator. This is a seven cubic foot refrigerator freezer versus the standard six usually found in this class. We've complemented that with a full on uh, stainless steel appliance package here. So it has a, a very, uh, your visuals are broken up so that it gives you a very modern high end look. Now the kitchen in this thing, you're going to see a better angle of it when I turn around, but tons of storage. We have five of these big drawers here. There's a pots and pans drawer on the other side. We have a space for a trash can right here and all kinds of good countertop space. That's something I really, really like in here. Most of your living rooms have crap for kitchens. That's just the hard truth of it. But here we have extra countertop space on both sides of the oven. We have outlets on both sides of the countertop so you have room for appliances. We have bigger overhead spaces. We have your high use doors are going to be upgraded to be reinforced. Your cabinetry doesn't fall apart in a Springdale. That's one of the things I like about them. And again, it's the little things they do like the fact that they use a number two spruce um, on, their, uh, on their woodworking here, those little cross members. Spruce has an interlocking grain. It doesn't have a linear grain. Long story short, it doesn't split. You can screw into it and it holds its shape. That's what I like about this. It costs an extra cent more you get a better product for it. Another thing that they do to eliminate problems is something you can't even see. And that's the fact that this is essentially a one piece floor. There is only one seam in this floor because they get uh, 24 foot long by eight foot wide sheets of material called Dynaspan. Dynaspan is 50% stronger than plywood. There's no seams here, basically. There's nowhere where this uh, floor can fail. There's nowhere where one board can hop on top of another board when it bounces down the road because it is a violent, earthquake-like experience back here during transit, guys. Uh, like I said, we will typically upgrade this to a larger 15,000 BTU air. We have LED lighting as part of these upgrade bundles that we have going on here, and it does a very good job. I mean, it, it makes a, a very big difference even during the daylight hours like you see right here. Um, for cleaning big stuff, we do have a, a pull-out uh, sprayer faucet as well as just a larger sink so that you can put big stuff in there. And I like the extra-large breeze through kitchen window here. Windows and lights cost a lot. They're using more windows, bigger windows, more lights, better lights in here. That's that's a big key difference. I can get you a cheaper floor plan laid out just like this. It's going to be a dark cave inside and you're going to hate it. Nine times out of ten, you're going to really, really dislike it. Um, big windows all over the back. And again, all these windows open for cross breeze. Um, the uh, sofa here. This is a trifold memory foam hide -a bed sofa. Not an inner spring, not an air bed. Very easy to set up, literally in seconds. Very comfy, too. Um, the uh, little USB chargers here are ideal because everybody seems to have one of these in their pocket nowadays, and it's nice to have a place to charge those. It's also nice to not have to, you know, bring along like four or five different chargers, one for the car, one for the camper, one for the house. You can just use one cable everywhere nowadays, or at least it's, it's getting there. Um, again, amazing kitchen storage for a rear living room. You know, it... There, you're, you could get more kitchen storage maybe in a rear kitchen, but you're going to give up a lot of living space for it. This is such a good mix of the two here, and I think it's because the way they accomplished their uh, entertainment center. I really like this. Uh, the, the TV is on that swing arm mount, so it can face anywhere. So even if you're sitting here eating breakfast, you still have the ideal shot. Not to mention if you're sitting in the chairs in the back, it's still easy to see everything. 
Um, you don't need to bring along extra electronics either because this is all-in-one. By making this an all-in-one DVD, Bluetooth, CD, stereo with inside and outside speakers, um, they have made it so that you don't uh, need to create extra space in an entertainment center. They can keep that minimal and leave the space for the kitchen and the living room. Our table, by the way, I want to point out, is a uh, freestanding table. It has an elliptical base on it, so it's very easy to set up and take down. When it's in the down sleeper position, when the dinette's down, you still have support under the table, which is something you don't usually have with most manufacturers. So this is a stronger sleeping space. Also, just easy access to under dinette storage here. Um, let's see. Let's. Oh man, big pantry. I, I, again, I don't want to. I don't want to forget that because usually rear our uh, kitchen space in rear living rooms not good here's that big window in front of the slide i was telling you about just the same size as the ones in the back and uh your windows in your living area are all uh nicer pleated night shades um our bathroom here you see we can get to it from either the hallway or the bedroom whichever way you prefer um double uh led lights here even in the bathroom and i mean look at that it brightens right up in here um, pretty, uh, I, I would say rank and file bathroom, although they left a lot of leg room here, which I really like. Again, as a tall person, I have all kinds of leg room. My toes, as I, I'm, I'm leaning back, by the way, I'm not sitting straight up. My toes barely touch this wall. It is very comfortable in here. Plus, we have a fifth wheel shower, not a travel trailer tub. And again, lots of headroom with that barreled arched ceiling. Sliding door here so that you have privacy from the, the bedroom space. And uh, as we come into the bedroom here, I like to point out the bed is easily walked around. You can easily get around the bed on both sides. Both sides of the bed have um, their own little stands with charging stations with um, residential AC outlets. So you, uh, you know, and I like that the plugs are against the front wall. It's perfect CPAP stand. So you can actually breathe at night if you need a CPAP machine. Um, cross breeze windows here in the bedroom as well as a vent above. They uh, pre-prepped the ceiling station here for a, a ceiling mount television if you're so inclined to do that. Or you could put one against the wall right here. They do put a backer in this wall to support that weight as well. Um, again, this is a top five brand for a lot of reasons because they, they, they top a lot of charts. Um, you know, every RV is the best for a different reason. But uh, Spring Bill is the best for a lot of them. So give us a call. This, this video is a good way to get an idea. I always recommend, if you can, put your hands on this trailer in person. Because once again, this video may not be the exact unit I have in stock. And I, I want you to be 100% confident when you leave our dealership. Because we're not a 10-chain store. We're Halo RV. We're family-owned and operated. My brother's the service manager. My wife does the paperwork. My father runs the place. We, uh, you know, we are a true family-run outfit. Return and referral business is what this is all about. People talk about service. I'm trying to go above and beyond by providing superior service before you even pick up the phone to make this as fun and easy as possible. Uh, because that's, you know, the whole point of camping. Fun and easy, and people forget about that. It becomes all about the struggle and the negotiation, and we don't like it any more than you do. We just want to meet, have fun, be good friends, and go camping. That's what it's all about, guys. Sitting at the campfire, shooting the breeze with a cold drink of your choice in your hand. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, happy camping.